guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. You guys are at such a completely different angle. Uh, <laughs> and my room is new basically. Um, got some stuff done to it, got some new furniture and everything. So um, we're going to see how this setup works. If I don't like it, then of course I'll change it back. I am wearing a top. But today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be um, a review of the ColourPop X Lizzie McGuire collection. I haven't filmed in so long, this is so weird. But um, every like 90s, 2000s baby like flipped, including myself, because I absolutely love Lizzie McGuire. Like, who doesn't? And I thought the color story, like, of um, the entire collection was really cute and interesting. I knew it was something that I didn't have, so I immediately got my hands on it. Can't lie, I did get this package a few days ago, but I've just been so busy with things which i'll be making videos on because i feel like i just have really good tips and advice to give in regard to certain things so stay tuned for that but um we're just gonna go ahead and open this baby up and we are going to see if this collection is cute is it worth it does it live up to lizzie mcguire standards so let's open her up got her open so this is what the inside looks like and here are the beautiful products so let's take them out one by one Oh my god, I didn't realize how much I got. Okay. <laughs> so, I got the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel in Get a Grip. I got the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel in Sing to Me Paolo. Sing to Me Paolo. I got the So Juicy Plumping Lip Gloss in Gordo. And I also got the So Juicy Plumping Lip Gloss in Lizzie. I got the Pressed Powder Blush in Delish. And lastly, I got the Lizzie McGuire Eyeshadow Palette. Super excited to try it. So let's go ahead and just get into this makeup. As you guys can tell, I already have my base on. Camera's gonna die while filming because that's just my look. I'm gonna start by showing you guys the What Dreams Are Made Of Eyeshadow Palette, which I think is so pretty has just really pretty colors i think it really represents lizzie mcguire's aesthetic in general what's really pulling me is the blue the blue <laughs> the purple um that is digital bean and also the green don't freak i did see ColourPop repost an artist create this look so if i find that um i'm going to go ahead and put the picture up of course because we give credit where credit is due it's, they basically did like the purple and then the green and it was a really pretty look so i think i want to try something along the lines of that if not the exact same i don't know um because it was super pretty and i was like i've never really tried to combine these two colors together so i wanted to try it but like i said if i find the picture i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen because of course we give credit so we're gonna first go into digital bean and it's a really simple but pretty look this is so pretty when you're looking at yourself in this mirror and also putting the shadow on you feel the aesthetic of this because it has the design of like you know on the mirror this is making me feel like i was like little and waking up and watching lizzie mcguire on disney channel i just can't but this is a really pretty purple there is fallout in the pan but usually with ColourPop eyeshadows i've always experienced that but i don't mind because ColourPop shadows are really pigmented and i mean i don't really mind it if the shadow is performing well for me then a little bit of fallout won't i mean the purple is a bit excessive can't lie like it literally gets like all over if you could see that but um it's coming off beautifully on the eye and i would even leave the eye like this because it's so pretty it's such a pretty deep purple For some reason, I keep wanting to call this look like Shigo. It literally reminded me of Shigo when it came to like the um, the green. So I'm kind of excited. But before that, I'm going to just take a small tapered brush like this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH39. And I'm going to take some concealer. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in shade Medium Neutral. And I'm going to kind of just carve out the lid where I want to put the green. Because I kind of want it to be really like precise. So 
I'm gonna go back into the What Dreams Are Made Of palette. And I'm gonna take the green, which is the shade Don't Freak. It's so pretty. Just looking at this is like the perfect spring palette too. This was like the perfect time. So I'm gonna take Don't Freak and I'm gonna apply that where I applied the concealer. Oh my God, I'm literally getting Lizzie McGuire vibes and it's like, <laughs> not it making me emotional, like. Ah, <sighs> this is gorgeous. Like I said, this was inspired by a look that I saw on Instagram. So I'm gonna be putting, I should have already put it on the screen. If not, I'll put it here too. Like it was such a gorgeous look. I'm sure I didn't replicate it completely, but such a gorgeous look. It's such a pretty idea, I think. Oh, how gorgeous. And I like how like the green and the purple are going really well together. I feel like sometimes, you know, you get scared when it comes to um, uh, mixing colors, but they look really good. I'm going back into Digital Bean with the same brush to kind of fan out and make sure everything is kind of blended. So it kind of looks like one seamless look or one seamless eyeshadow instead of like two. I really like that. I also really like it on my skin tone personally. Like I think that it's a, it's like pretty purple. I don't know, this purple I think is probably, I haven't tried many of the shades, but I think it's the best shade in the palette because I think it's really like versatile for people, which I think is important. So, perfect, okay. So, I have already contoured, but we're gonna leave the eyes for now. I'm gonna smoke it out later once I'm like finished. So. We're gonna go into the blush. Oh my god, it's so cute. Um, and this is Delish. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna take the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush and I'm gonna use that to apply it. So a lot does come out and there is a lot of fallout, but like I said, if it works, then I'm pretty straight with that. It's a very subtle pink and I like that. I don't normally go for bright pinks like this, but I don't think I mind how it's looking. It kind of gives me like a little like, little flushed look if that makes sense. But this is pretty. Like to add some on the nose as well. Now this is a really pretty shade actually. This, um, what is it delish yeah this one's really pretty i like this too so i'm definitely gonna keep this out to use because i've been struggling to find a blush but um so i had to switch cameras and angles um because my camera died but i think this is a better up close and personal look so i did just finish applying the delish blush which i love and i think you can see it more with this camera and this angle so i'm pretty happy about that um i want to get into now the glitterly obsessed glitter gels so i think these are like okay glitters and um i saw people because they have this formula already but I guess you kind of apply it, I don't know, as you like. Yeah, it's a very thick, like, oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. <gasps> it got everywhere. Interesting. Um, So this is the shade Sing To Me Palo. So I don't know if that's going to go with this look, but maybe. I want to, my, eh? I want to use this one as like an inner corner shade. So we'll see. And then this one is the shade Get A Grip. Ooh, which is like hot pink. Oh my god, this is gonna be so pretty to use. Okay, this is gorgeous. I can't wait to use this, but I think I'm gonna use Sing To Me Follow um, because I feel like it'll go better with the look. Before I use that though, I do want to finish smoking out, smoking out. <laughs> I do wanna finish like smoking out the um, lower lash line. So I'm gonna take this like BH Cosmetics 104 brush, which is like, angled and everything she's super cute i'm gonna take digital bean i'm gonna start from the outer corner so i'm making sure i'm connecting it all and kind of going like so and i want to drag it all the way down gorgeous i feel like that really completed the eye Wow. 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna just go ahead. No wipe away some excess because I did have some fallout when it came to that. Like I said, you know, their shadow their shadows can be pretty powdery. I'm not too sure why. I don't remember them always being like that. Um but I guess if it works, you know, I don't mind, but at the same time it's kind of annoying because you know you it's kind of annoying. <laughs> no, there's no explanation. There's having freaking purple eyeshadow on you everywhere is annoying. But um uh, it's fine. So I'm gonna take the shades into me, Paolo, and I'm just gonna what brush do I wanna use? I think I wanna use that same um Morphe Extract of Melger H39 brush. I'm gonna take it. Yo, this is such a weird consistency. Oh my god. But it's like so intriguing. I don't okay. Um I guess you just kind of scoop it. I don't know. I don't want to put too much, but okay. I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner. That was kind of a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of that and apply it to the other eye. Hold on, this is a mess. I don't know how to use these damn things. Hold on. This is a mess. How did I get in my eye? Hello? Sorry. But I think that's such a pretty inner corner. Just don't get it in your eye because it kind of unburns gorgeous inner corner though if you really want that inner corner pop this is your girl kind of want to use this yellow color pop liner it's in the shade uh, crossed and i feel like it'll look good so i'm gonna put that into my waterline i feel like even though it's like a nice bright yellow it does kind of match with the um lime green so i'm kind of loving that kind of living i'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara i don't know what mascara i want to use today i think i'm gonna use my maybelline lash sensational she's just iconic so we're gonna do that so that is it oh, wait this is cute hold on this is very cute i'm save your final thoughts so lastly i have the so juicy plumping glosses in shade lizzie and gordo so i'm going to show you gordo first gordo is just this like oh this brings me back like you know those like your old little lip glosses from when you were younger this is that this is a purplish i mean i guess it would go but we'll see i forgot what lizzie looks like i feel like lizzie is like clear or like a pink i don't know i forgot yep clear with like some gold glitter specks so i don't know if i want i do want to add like a full-on lip so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to add one of them on top i'm going to take this nyx suede pencil and shade club hopper um and then i'm going to take just my kkw beauty nude one lipstick and add that in the center oh i love the combos that i'll be you know what anyways um and then lastly i'm gonna take the lizzie mcguire lip gloss and shade li lily lizzie and i'm gonna put that right on top the fact that this is their so juicy plumping uh formula as well has me very excited mm, it smells really why does it smell like bubblegum mm. Because normally their original ones don't have a scent, if I'm not mistaken. I only use the clear one, but. It smells like bubble gum. Oh my god, this is bringing me back for real to my childhood. What the heck? And lastly, I'm just going to set my face with my Urban Decay all night. Okay, so this is the finished look. Now let's get into my final thoughts. So I'm going to kind of start... We're going to start with the palette. I absolutely love the palette. I think it's beautiful. And I think you can create so many different shades. I also think that with the aesthetic and everything, like this is also a really great starter palette. You can create bold looks like this with like, you know, the purple and the green. And you can create really pretty neutral looks with the shades like Done and Done, Bug, um, Bye Bye, Audi, and even Please. You know, um, it's a really versatile palette and... It's only a 12 shade palette, but I think this is one of their best drops in a really long time. I haven't really been that interested in ColourPop anymore. Hasn't been appealing a lot of drops, you know, but this one 
has made me more interested um so i'll definitely be checking for them more so just this palette alone has made me more interested but let's talk about the blush um i like the blush it was a nice shade for me i mean a little light but that's fine i don't mind it i think it's pretty um definitely i know ColourPop has had issues with their blush shade ranges um in recent drops for some reason so I don't know if the, I don't remember if this was the only shade but if it was I think it's disappointing because um not everybody uses the same shade of blush I feel like with the palette you know anybody can use this especially with that deep purple you really you know opened up um a way for everybody to kind of get some type of use out of this palette but if this is the only blush shade I'm not 100% sure um that's very disappointing to me but overall you know for my skin tone it was nice um a little light than I would go for but um I don't mind it because it's really subtle I don't really like to go for too bold of blushes anyways but um that's my thoughts on that literally obsessed I absolutely love these I think these were really pretty shades I know that they had something similar before if I'm not mistaken or maybe this is a new launch I don't know but I really like them I think it gave the look like the perfect like amp and oomph um in the inner corner so these were really pretty i'm excited to try the hot pink one because that's just gonna be stunning yeah i hope i was supposed to use that on my eye because if not that's a problem but um anyways and lastly they're so plumping lip gloss uh so juicy plumping lip glosses 10 out of 10 totally recommend i've always loved these i love this one i'm telling you i don't know if it's me but i'm even tasting it now it tastes like bubblegum smells like bubblegum i use the shade lizzie and i'm obsessed gordo is a really pretty color too and if you like something that has glitter in it i think that this is the perfect um these are the perfect shades for you i always use their clear um so juicy plumping i don't have it on hand with me right now but that's the only one that i have i absolutely love it ever since it dropped so i would definitely repurchase these because these are really good i think the cute little shimmer on them is nice you can't see it too much but i don't mind that because i don't like like shimmer like that when it comes to my glosses all the time and um the bubble gum honestly it's the bubble gum for me like i'm just like this tastes good so overall i do like the collection and i think it's something that you should totally look into if you were interested really love it love the um, array of colors in the eyeshadow palette um disappointed in the blushes but um what's new with that i love the glitterly obsessed glitters they're so pretty and they're so fun to play with i mean i have it all over my hand but they're so fun to play with you could even use it as like highlight and everything i just got a bright idea i don't know i don't want to ruin my makeup but i you could even use it as highlight and inner corner highlight you know so i think it's a great thing and their lip plumping glosses 10 out of 10 so overall i do give the collection about a 9 out of 10 um so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys tried this collection out yet because i know i'm really late on my video sorry for the camera switch but you gotta make do what it gotta do and also credits to the artist who did originally create like this color schemed look that i saw on color pops instagram so gorgeous so beautiful that's honestly what kind of made me excited for the collection because seeing what you could do with different shades and like contrasting colors was intriguing to me and now i know that i can do it myself so shout out to you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video and comment down below tell me what you guys think of this video and what you guys think of this collection do you love it did you hate it let me know and i will see you guys in the next one i do have a few new product review videos coming as well um i just shopped yesterday i have a huge ulta spring haul coming because they do have their spring sale until the 17th of this month and a lot of items are 20 30 40 percent off so one i go check it out two i've shopped till i've dropped so i'll be sharing that with you guys and what's on sale and also the vip rouge sale at sephora i did some shopping i did some damage so i have that video coming for you guys as well as well as individual product reviews from that so stay tuned turn your post notification bells on because this month we are lit on this channel we're getting back into the grind of things i also have an informational video coming out in regards to just some um uh, I took my state exam to become a CNA so I really want to share some tips that really really helped me pass the first time because 
if I did it, you can too. And I just love finding videos like that. So I want to create them myself. So stay tuned, you guys, for more content this month and the months to come. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Show up if you're down to roll up Meet me on the west side by me